In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how we can fix our videos using different tools. I have two videos here that need some fixing, both for different reasons. We're going to look at three tools today that are going to help us fix our video and make them ready for editing. I'm going to start with a simple instant. So let's go to stock media and look for something that it's rather dark or needs some sort of um, color enhancement. Bring one for my video track one and another one on top so we can see it before and after. Turn off the visibility for the second one. If you don't have a second video track, just go ahead and hit this button, add video, and then you'll get an extra one. I'm just gonna delete the third one, select it, and then delete it. Now this video is quite bright, as you can see, we're seeing everything, but it is a little flat. By flat, it means that there's no difference between the darks and the lights of this video, the shadows like these guys, and the highlights, they're all in the same range. And that could be fixed with adding some contrast, but let's see what the auto enhance feature does for this video. The second uh, track is turned off in terms of visibility. Let's select the first one, double click, go in video and then scroll down to auto enhance, which is the last setting available. Turn it on and you can see we have automatically added some uh, contrast by only being at 50. So let me bring back the original. You can see this was the original. This is a new version. You can see there's a slight contrast on the new version and that's looking way better. Again, if I go all the way to zero, there is nothing on the video and it's as if we didn't do anything from the start. Now let's bring it back to 100 and see what Filmora does for me. And it has, it has applied more contrast for my video. So this was before, this is after. You can see the difference. Now you don't always have to go to 100. You can always just grab the slider and play around to see what makes your video look better. I'm gonna stick with somewhere around 80 or 79. And now this is okay for my video. If at any point you wanted to see uh, the video without the auto enhance effect, you can always go ahead and switch off this effect to see maybe a before and after, or maybe you just want to turn it off for a while, work on other things, and then come back to turn it back on. If you've changed your mind from uh, adding the auto enhance feature, you can either go on this button right here to go back to what Filmora set for you, or just hit uh, reset to completely get rid of auto enhance. So that was the auto enhance feature. It's a really helpful tool when it comes to the color correction of your video. And uh, it doesn't require you to do much. You just have to grab the slider and just choose a level that works for you. Now let's take a look at how we can fix our video with stabilization and lens correction. For these examples, I'm going to use two other videos. So let's get rid of these guys. Come back to my media. I have downloaded uh, this video, Soap Bubble, which you can also get by going to Stock Media, Pixabay, Video. Just look for Soap Bubble. And scroll down to find... There we go. So it's right here. You can also see the code if you want to add that in. And now I'm just going to get this soap bubble video added to my first video track. And I'm going to keep the project settings. Uh, this has audio, so I'm just going to right click and mute this. So we just need the video. Play this back. And you can see that it's quite shaky and we're not really uh, stable on that soap bubble, which is really pretty. We're just moving around and the camera is just uh, shaking a lot. So let's go ahead and attempt to add stabilization to this video. I'm going to grab this again and put it on my second video track so we can see a before and after. Just make sure to turn off the visibility to, uh, for video track two. Now let's double click on the first one. I'm gonna go in here, double click, video, basic, come up this time for stabilization. It's turned off right now, so let's turn it on. And Filmora is uh, analyzing the footage. You can see the percentage going up 
After analyzing, uh, you can maybe change the smooth level, the edge processing, and then see what works for you. So we just added 10 uh, for smooth level and it chose reflect. So let's play this back. So you can see it's a lot more smoother than it was before. Um, let's go ahead and place these next to each other so it's easier to tell. I'm going to bring the visibility back, double click, and just reposition these next to each other so we can see exactly what we did with the stabilization. All right, so I went ahead and added some text and placed the two videos next to each other so you can tell how the stabilization works and the difference that it makes. Let's go ahead and play this back. Uh, this video, which is the new one, we turned this on and Filmora decided these settings for us. We haven't changed anything yet. Let's go ahead and play this back and see this compared to the original. You can see how the original is shaking and the new one is pretty stable. We are just looking at the stable bubble, but the original video is just shaking around and kind of vibrating at the same time. So that's with just 10 smooth level and just a really slight bit of uh, setting difference. I'm going to go back to the beginning. Now basically what the stabilization does is that it slightly zooms into your video and it's changing the edges of your clip. So normally the edges, as you can see here, is pretty sharp. But right now we have edge processing set to reflect. So these are reflecting. And I'm just going to bring this, copy this, Command-C or Control-C, paste it right here. Do the same thing for this, Command-C and then Command-V or Control-C, Control-V. This time, let's go ahead and I'm going to bring this back to full screen. There we go. So this is the original video, and if I turn off the visibility, this is the new video. You can see the new video, which is this one, zoomed in compared to the original video. So that happened because we have our smooth level at 10%. Let's go ahead and remove our smooth level, bring it back to zero. All right. Now, if I just go in, let me turn off this one. If I just go in, we're getting some... Um, let me just bring it in somewhere. Not sure if you can see, but there's like this line on the corners. And this is basically because the edge is being reflected. So this is our original edge, but it's being reflected on this other side. And because we have our smooth level at zero, we are seeing this line right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but it's a very slight uh, difference. And I'm just going to, first of all, zoom out of my scale out so you guys can see scale out and come down to stabilization this time go for a tile and i'm just going to go through each one and we can see the difference and now you can see this effect more clearly let me just get this white background command c command v so you can see the edges there we go so this is with tile double click the edge processing is with tile and because it's at zero, we're getting really sharp lines on the edge and it's almost as if we have a, a frame, a really shaky frame that is. And our smooth level is at zero, so it means that there's no smoothing done. Let's increase our smooth level. And you can see that Filmora has zoomed in quite a bit so that we don't see those sharp edges. As you can see, there we go come a little lower, we're going to zoom out again, go all the way in, we're just completely inside the bubble. So the smooth level just zooms into your video so that you don't see those uh, sharp edges, and it also smooths those edges as well. So let's go ahead and go back to zero. We're seeing those edges again. Change the edge processing. Tile, as it says, it's going to place tiles around your video, the parts where it's shaky. And reflect, just reflects the edge. So right now you saw that instead of that black line, we have uh, basically this area reflected. You can barely tell that there is an extra edge. So reflect is actually the best one. And then we have extend. So what happens when you 
turn on stabilization, Filmora is going to find the subject and then you're just choosing how Filmora handles the edges. So no matter which one we choose, the subject is still in focus and we're just uh, adding different edge processing settings. With the different settings like extend, it just grabs the corners and it kind of stretches it out without disturbing the subject. So this is a really smart technology. And with um, reflect, it's, like we said, it's just reflecting the edges. Tile is adding additional things to the edges. And when you have nothing selected, nothing is going to go wrong. So just go through each one and see which one works for you. Sometimes you may end up choosing none, but it all depends on your smooth level and how much you need to zoom in to avoid seeing the uh, rough edges. Now I'm just going to add more to the smooth level. And I think I'm going to go for somewhere around 20. Let's take a look. You can see it's a lot more smoother compared to what we had before. You can also see it in relevance to the original clip, which is really shaky. Now I'm going to look for a video where the subject is shaking. So it's no longer the camera, but actually the subject that is moving. And we're going to see how this effect is going to work on that. I'm just going to type in shaky and we're going to get this video of these maple leaves just moving in the wind download them. So just as we said that Filmora is looking at the subject when it's stabilizing your footage, we need to make sure that the subject that we're going to use is not shaking like it is here and this is going to give us a bad result. Let's copy and create a duplicate for the video. I'm going to do the same thing with our white background which by the way I got from my media sample color white. So I went ahead and did the same frame that I did right here. Let's go ahead and go to the video underneath, turn on stabilization, and again, Filmora chose reflect and 10. So these are the default settings. And the edge processing, like we said, you can choose whichever you prefer. The best one is reflect and extend works too, but I wouldn't recommend tile unless you have a specific uh, thing in mind, specific type of video in mind, but you can see with tile it just doesn't look okay. Let's choose extend this time. We chose reflect for this. And basically extend is just going to pull the sides of your video, but in a way that won't distort it. So it's a smart feature. I will add to the smooth level, uh, maybe around 18, hit okay. Now let's take a look at the new one and the original. So you can see the new one is even more shakier than the original and this is only happening because we have uh, a shaky subject. Even if I change it, uh, change the edge processing, you can see it's not doing much for us. I can even add to the smooth level and we will still get a shaky footage because our subject is shaking itself. Stabilization is meant for footage where you are shaking, the camera is shaking, and you have a subject still somewhere. So in this case, the camera isn't shaking, but it's actually the subject that is just moving in the wind. So that is why you need to choose the right type of video for stabilization. So even if I go for maybe extend, add a lot to my smooth level, it will still be pretty bad because Filmora is looking at the leaves. So stabilization may not always work. It really depends on your footage and how much shake you've got. So make sure you use the right video for stabilization. Finally, let's take a look at another feature. Let me delete all of these. Another feature that is great and that is lens correction. So I have this video which was shot by a GoPro. If you've used GoPros before, you know that they tend to distort your uh, video and that is why most editors have to run the footage in uh, post-production and correct what the lens caught using a lens correction tool. So for Filmora, we have lens correction, thankfully. And right now you can see the water is bent and that's just not how the water should be. To see the effect better, I went ahead and made this frame. And now we're going to take a look at how lens correction can affect our video. 
So let's select the video on the left and we're going to scroll down to lens correction. Let's switch on the effect and you need to first choose the camera that you use to sh uh, shoot this video. I'm going to choose GoPro from the camera selection and already you can see the effect. It's slight but we'll get there. I'm also going to choose a resolution for my GoPro. I'm going to stick with the first one. You can also always go back and change the camera. So changing the resolution can also change the outcome. You can, uh, if you don't know what setting you used or what setting uh, the video has, you can always just comb through and see which one gives you the best result. And then we have adjust level. If Right now we're in zero, but if I go all the way to 100, you can see it kind of zoomed out. You can see the difference between these two. But we're actually going to move to the opposite side, so at negative 100, because we want the edges to move outward rather than inward. And you can see now it looks so much better. I'm going to change my resolution now to uh, another option right here, 2.7K, and this looks way better. And now you can see how I completely transformed this video into this using lens correction. Let me play this back. And you can see that it didn't affect the original video. We just have it in a better way or in a more realistic way. And that was how we can fix our videos using stabilization, auto enhance, and lens correction.